Details on an Eyewitness News exclusive. Only Eyewitness News cameras were there as Governor Chafee signed a bill aimed at making government dealings more public. Good government groups say the new law will unseal many records that would have remained hidden. The Target 12 investigators have been working hard at keeping government open and honest. Tim White was there when the governor signed the bill into law. The new law goes into effect on September 1st, and while some say it doesn't go far enough to open doors in government, it's the first major change to the law in 14 years. Only Eyewitness News is in the room when, with a stamp of approval and the stroke of a pen, All right, nearing the summit. Governor Lincoln Chafee signs the state's new Access to Public Records Act into law. Yes, Rhode Island, we're always uh, criticized as being uh, unaccessible in many ways, and uh, we struggle with some of our ethical issues in this state, so it's always good to have uh, sunshine in. Here are the major changes. Police departments must issue an arrest log within 48 hours of an arrest. Government employment contracts are now public, and there is now a so-called balancing test modeled after the federal government's law. So this has been coming for, for three decades in Rhode Island. Executive Director of Common Cause Rhode Island, John Marion, says the balancing test is the big change. Before, many records with someone's name on it were sealed from inspection. Now, the public body, whoever is in charge of those records, has to make a decision. Is it an invasion of privacy to, to give that out or not? We're going to get more than we were going to get before. Two parts of the bill were scrapped to get it through the General Assembly, including speeding up the process to get records and language that would have made emails of elected officials public. Among the groups that supported the bill is the New England First Amendment Coalition, of which I am a board member. Attorney General Peter Kilmartin, who helped push this bill into law, is holding a summit later this summer to get government agencies up to speed on the changes. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.